The past perfect tense is used to describe an action that happened before an action in the simple past. The formula is subject plus had plus past participle. We can use the past perfect to tell us which event happened first. For example, if we add the word had to this sentence, Peter had moved to Paris, we know that this action happened first. But if we put had in the other sentence, Mary had found a job in Paris, now this action happened first. Here's an example. He failed his test because he hadn't studied. Here we use the past perfect tense to describe the first action and the past tense to describe the second action. Another example. She had not seen snow until she visited Canada. Again, we use the past perfect to describe the first action and the past simple to describe the second action. Using the past perfect can change the meaning of a sentence. Let's compare the two sentences. When he arrived, the train left. Versus, when he arrived, the train had left. In the first sentence, when he arrived, the train left, this means he arrived and the train left immediately after. But if we say when he arrived, the train had left, this means that the train left first and then he arrived. So he missed the train. In addition, the past perfect can be used to express a past wish or a regret. For example, he wishes he hadn't drunk so much last night. The past perfect is also used in reported speech and the third conditional. We'll review this in another lesson.